Last year, I read uh, The Diary of Anne Frank to my son. Uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, I wanted him to identify with a female protagonist, right, and learn some history, but it turned out to be uh, too much for him. Because uh, Anne, I don't know if you guys have read or remember it, but about one third of the way into the book, Anne gets her period. And my son goes, what's a period? And I was like, oh, that's right. I, I haven't mentioned this shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I go, well, when girls are Anne's age, they start to menstruate. And that means once a month, blood flows uncontrollably <laughs> out of their vaginas <laughs> for four to 15 days. Anne was really ill in hospital. We went to visit. And uh, here's the thing, we all know what it is. It's no big deal to us, but to watch someone hear that information for the first time. <laughs> came out and he said. God, guys, if you don't have kids, go to a park tomorrow. <laughs> Treat yourself. <laughs> Read a medical journal out loud. My kid, he had like this two-pronged defense where the first hand went right to the balls, right? <laughs> Immediately a primal DNA protection yeah. of the testicles. And the other hand went up to block more information <laughs> about the female reproductive system. What's haven't we? We've all been to a funeral at some ranch. And then I, I picked up the book again. He goes, oh, I hope no more bad things happen to Anne Frank. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> then I, I, I closed the book immediately and I, I just, I made up an entirely different ending <laughs> to the diary of Anne Frank. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna give this little girl a great life. He, he thinks, uh, I, I said, well, she, she survived and she came to America. And then I was just freestyling. I said, she uh, married the singer-songwriter James Taylor. <laughs> and then she opened a women's clothing store called Ann Taylor Loft. <laughs> and her friends were like, shouldn't be Ann Taylor Attic. <laughs> and she's like, no, that's too on the nose. <laughs> My son uh, makes YouTube videos, and they are awful. <laughs> he uh, films boogers up close, uh, poos going down the toilet. He'll aim a flashlight right at the camera and turn it on and off, so it's like a strobe light seizure-causing effect. And they're 20 to 25 minutes long. They're unwatchable. So he ends one of his videos recently. He goes like this. He put, makes a finger gun, puts it to his temple, and he goes, Psh! which I know might seem disturbing, but you've got to believe me, it's the best work he's ever done. <laughs> I was like, finally, you, the director, have captured what I, the audience, was feeling <laughs> at that exact moment. I, I, too, wanted to end my life at that point in your film. Thank you. Well, it turns out I'm not the only one who watches his videos, so does the school. And they, apparently they tried to call me five times that day. Now they couldn't reach me because I had blocked the school's number the previous year. <laughs> Thank you, I was being stalked by the principal, quite frankly. So then they panicked, they called the police. The police come to my house, two cops came to my house for a wellness check and I didn't, I had no idea why. Like, I opened up the front door. I was like, oh my God, you heard. I just tried mushrooms for the first time. <laughs> I don't know who told you, but get in. <laughs> and uh, they go, we're, we're here to see a video your son posted today, right? They're very serious, you know? And so I, I pulled up the video and uh, in retrospect, I guess I could have fast forwarded to the very end. <laughs> but I decided to make the cops watch all 24 minutes of poos and farts and strobe lights and a booger. And by the time we got to the end, one of the cops had his actual gun to his stomach. I talked him out of it and then I introduced my son to his newest uncle. Yeah. 
there's a, there's a couple happy endings in that story, guys. If you, uh, 